Hey guys, welcome back to another flashlight review today. Exciting day. Next Torch have finally released their TA20 tactical flashlight, and I've got my hands on one of them finally. I've been quite excited waiting for this to arrive, although I have many tactical flashlights. I'm quite fond of this one for some reason. I think it's the combination of the size, sort of miniaturized, almost cute, but high quality and functional design, as you can see. Well, it's almost like those lights that come with those shorter 18350 tubes that you can, you know, make them smaller. This one just comes like this. Nice little light. The TA20 has a whole bunch of bells and whistles that you'll find in Next Torch's regular size tactical flashlights. And I like that about Next Torch that they don't skimp even with their smaller lights. Even if you go for their EDC lights, they're using that same high level, high quality construction. It's got this rotary selector on the head, which I really like. It's intuitive, provides also a one-step lockout mode too. The TA20 is 10 centimeters long, and it comes with a 30 millimeter bezel head. Okay, 30 millimeters in diameter. So it's quite compact, very easy to fit in your pocket. And Next Torch actually market this light as a duty flashlight but yeah you can use it as your EDC just an EDC tactical flashlight that you can quite easily pocket here is a little size comparison with a few other next torch tactical flashlights here and also one of their EDC flashlights the 51c here so it's definitely one of their smaller lights in terms of length the bezel is a little bit chunkier compared to the e51c range so let's talk a bit about overall construction, LED, lens, bezel, and reflector. So excellent construction and design as always from Next Torch. The TA20 uses that same matte black and chalky anodizing that you see on a lot of the other tactical flashlights, like the one you saw before, the TA30 Max. It's quite a grippy anodizing and provides a low profile look as well, non-glossy sort of look. There's also some checkered knurling on the battery tube and the tail cap to provide some extra grip. On the tail cap, you've got a single aluminium button allowing access to both 100% and strobe if you've got it on the tack mode. It's also two meter impact resistant and IPX8 rated. So that means it can handle drops up to two meters and also be able to submerge it underwater up to two meters. This is the box that my TA20 came with and you get an instruction manual to so get the USB-C charging cable, get a lanyard, also the battery comes with it. Okay, I'll just show you a little bit just what the box looks like. It does have some specifications here on the side, momentary tactical mode, 1000 lumens, also tells you the run times, so high mode, one, one, uh, one, one hour, 15 minutes, two hours, 30 minutes, for medium, low, 24 hours, also got that lock mode, and it has specifications as well led specifications osram p9 thousand lumens takes a 16340 or ci 123 a cell and some of the other measurements here as well you can see that next torch are using the fl1 standard so they're taking the measurements of the candela and the lumen output after 30 seconds you also get a five-year warranty on next torch products including the ta 20, which is quite impressive. I also had one of these sent to me, the Next Torch FR1 tactical flashlight ring. And you can see here, it's actually designed for 18650 flashlights, 66 millimeters in length. So I'll just show you how I actually use this a little bit later, but I think it looks great on the TA20. All right, so I just want to show you a bit of a closer up look around the bezel, underneath the bezel as well. And you can see you know, you've got the LED here, Osram P9. You've got this nice titanium bezel with three glass breaking beads. Can't open that up. Um, here is that bezel, that rotating bezel, allowing you to select the three different modes. There's a distinct click 
as you switch into each one. I like that there's also these anti-roll cutouts here as well on the side of the bezel. Comes with an orange peel reflector to create a smooth diffused beam and also glass anti-reflective lens here in the front. I think the P9 is a good LED for such a small host. If you've got a, an SFT40 in here, this would definitely overheat too quickly, consume also a lot more power. You know, we're talking about a smaller 16340 or CR123 cell in here. Just open it up and show you a little bit about of what's inside. Okay, so you just unscrew that and uh, you can see just under that tail cap here, got a nice spring, really clean and copper plate at the back there as well. Pop out the battery. That's the 16340 cell here. And you can also use, like I mentioned before, a CR123 cell. The interesting thing is that it does have a USB-C port here, so you don't need an external charger in order to, to uh, get some juice into this thing. Basically the way you install this, this ring if you end up getting one is you just pop it on. You can see when you put the ring on, there's these little divots in the ring here that just uh, sort of secure themselves around. There's another one here around the clip so that it doesn't move around. Initially when I got the light I thought I had to take off the clip and I removed the clip but this thing was just moving around a little bit more freely but you keep that clip on or if you don't want to use that the tactical ring you can just use it like this okay it actually looks a lot more neater that way i like that the little friction ring also attaches underneath the tail cap so that provides a little bit or a lot more extra security so if you're if it gets snagged or pulled or if you pull it out or something like that it won't um, come off the light itself actually feels a lot more smaller without that ring on there so yeah i think that's more for tactical use or if you're using it as a duty light you want access to that light very quickly from your pocket i'm a big fan of these next torch clips they're made of high tensile steel and fit on like i mentioned before this friction ring so also this dual tube design as well for better insulation better electrical conductivity a nice little touch and you can tell especially with these with more premium lights they tend to have that feature i use this tactical ring like this i've just got my finger in there index finger there and uh switch it on to say tactical mode or something like that okay even just like that so that you can hold on to something you can pick up other objects you can play around with other things without it um you know, still having access to your fingers. Also, when you clip it onto the edge of your pocket as well, this this area of the ring is visible from the outer edge of your pocket, so it's very easy to just grab it out of your pocket that way. So let me just show you a little bit of how the UI works. And the great thing about Nextorch flashlights is that they have such simple UIs that you don't really need the instruction manual to figure out how these things work. So firstly, we've got it on the attack mode, and if you half press this button, I press it, you get access to the full mode. Okay, high. If you press down the button fully, it goes into strobe mode. So it's a two step button. You both have access to highest mode and also the strobe mode. Put it into duty mode. And uh, if you half press, you get access to that high mode. Now, if you full press, it switches the light onto high. And then you half press from here to go to medium, half press again to go to low, and half press again to go to strobe. Okay, um, one thing you can't do is um, get it to remember the last mode. So whenever you turn it on, it's always just going to go to that high mode and you have to uh, reduce down, uh, reduce it down manually if you want to access a lower mode. And of course, lock mode is lock mode. Great to have that feature instead of having to, you know, unscrew the tail cap slightly or something like that. Um, gives you that extra added security of it not being activated in your bag or in your pocket. Okay, let's talk a little bit about performance. So I ran a ceiling bounce test and you can see here the TA20 lasts on the high mode up until the one minute mark until it starts ramping down 
completely ramps down to about just over 50% at the two minute mark, continues on at 50 something percent, 55 or so percent until eight minutes where it ramps down again to 30% and it just stayed there for the remainder of the test. I ended the test just after the 18 minute mark. I also took some measurements with my Opal Lightmaster Pro on low, medium and high and on low you've got 34 meters of throw, medium 90 meters and high 217 meters of throw. Measured these at five meters away from my sensor. Color rendering index was between 70 to 74.6, which is definitely quite expected for these types of lights. They're more designed for visibility. CCT was between 5,900 to 6,300, increasing as you go from low, medium to high. The beam profile of the TA20 has significant amounts of flood, brighter hotspot in the center, but not strong enough to blind you at close range, especially on the low to medium setting. Next torch tend to go with these orange peel reflectors for more practicality so that you get an evenly dispersed beam with still significant amounts of throw as well. Here are some considerations as well in case you're thinking of buying this flashlight. Now there's shorter runtime on high due to the 16340 cell. Again, it is a smaller light, so you can't expect it to have you know, three hours of runtime on high, anything like that. But you do get an hour, 15 minutes on high. You also get 24 hours runtime on the low mode and 2.5 hours on medium, which I think is pretty reasonable. Another advantage is that you also are able to use the CR123 primaries. And that's quite a handy feature as well, just to be able to chuck in one of those primaries if you run out of juice to have a few of those on hand as well and that's why law enforcement tend to opt for flashlights that are able to take primary such as the CR123. Another thing is uh, I thought it would have been good to have some kind of battery indicator light on the TA20 and uh, some of their other models have the battery indicator built into the tail, uh, tail switch but nothing here. Also the light starts on high on both the tactical and duty modes. Now some people do prefer lights that start on low but keep in mind, this is a tactical light and accessing that full power is prioritized, but you don't have that selector ring as you see in the TA30 Max. It, there's a selector ring that allows you to flip it straight onto the low mode. The selector ring is only available here in the head. The bezel, like I mentioned before, 30 millimeters. So still on the larger end of EDC lights in terms of diameter, but in my opinion, still very easily pocketable. Some people might think this is a bit large for a 16340 flashlight, but I think it's justified due to its specific use, especially if you're using it as a duty light, you want a light as well, maybe that is more durable, it's going to be able to stand up to a few knocks, and also provide adequate heat sinking for this emitter, which is how we're able to get sustained performance up to one minute on the high mode. So all in all, the Nextorch TA20 is one of my favorite tactical EDCs. It's compact, it's unique, fits nicely in the pocket. It also has true tactical functionality. So there's no gimmicks in this thing. It's just a miniaturized version, like a backup flashlight, or you, know, you can use it as your primary flashlight as well. If you're looking for a solid EDC duty or backup light, you definitely want to consider the TA20. I've left a 10% off link in the description if you want to get it. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll get back to you. There's probably some things that I've missed. Finally, do me a favor and click the like button if the video has helped you out. If you enjoyed it, it just helps me to get it out to more people. And if you want to see me make more flashlight reviews, make sure you subscribe. All right, we've got the Next Torch TA20, one of my favorite little EDC flashlights, and it's a tactical flashlight as well so let's give this a crack and I've actually gonna I'm gonna put it on the duty mode because that allows me to access all the different modes and uh, that's the high mode highest mode it's capable of and quite easily reaching all the way to the back I mean incredible and uh, one thing I find is just how nicely diffused that hotspot is Okay, it's, it's more concentrated, lumens are more concentrated in the center, but on the outside, you know, you've got a nice amount of flood as well, lots of usable flood and a much smoother transition from the spot to the flood because we've got the orange peel reflector here.
Okay, let's, I'm gonna switch it on to the lowest mode. Uh, lowest mode is, yeah, it's pretty basic. I mean, you can see everything up close, obviously. You know, probably up to maybe five, 10 meters or so, uh, you know, good visibility. Okay, middle, whoops, let's put that on straight to that, where is it? This one here, medium. Now this is better. You can see a little bit of those trees off on the outer edges. And high, back onto high. You can see just strobe mode it was on before. Okay, off again. And you can see there, you know, hitting all those even the goalpost there, you can see it very easily from where I'm at. Alright, the TA-20, and that's on the highest mode. 1,000 lumens and packing a punch yeah, for such a little light. Look at that, just uh, hitting those trees in the back there easily. Uh, it's a nice diffused hot spot as well, as you can see. It's not as concentrated as if you have a uh, tactical light that has one of those smooth reflectors. In my opinion this is probably more practical but still manages to hit those trees out in the back. You can cycle down the modes. This is the medium mode and uh, no, not having any issues hitting these trees up close. The grassland here up the front as well some of these trees up here to the right hand side okay you get to those clear the tree sort of in the the grass sort of in the center but that's about it in low mode it's very difficult to see here but uh there we go that's the highest again it's the high mode okay just switch it on the tack tack mode you can also get it to strobe like that as well Pressing that button all the way. I press it halfway to access tactical. I really like this FR1, this little ring, the tackle ring that they included with my version. It's it just makes things easier. You hold other things in your hand, and also grip-wise, it's it just feels more sturdier than just holding. The light itself, since it's kind of just connected to one of your fingers.